5.3, Day 10. Our topic is Applications of Logarithms. And this is a short video. We're only going to look at one application. Um, so in reality, we could talk about the chemical acidity of a substance, and that's the pH. So whether you've had chemistry or even before chemistry in another science class, you've probably seen uh, pH as how um, the acidity of a chemical substance is measured. So pH, which gives us um, a measurement as to the acidity of a chemical substance, we have a formula for it. So we say pH is defined as being this. The pH equals the negative log. And then I have capital H with a plus on it up here. So that actually represents uh, hydrogen ions, the concentration of hydrogen ions. So if you can get a measurement as to the hydrogen ions, take the negative log of it, that will tell you the pH, the acidity of some chemical substance. So this hydrogen ion concentration, in general, it's just a number between 0 and 1. And the more concentrated the substance is with hydrogen ions, so the bigger this number is, the closer it is to 1, uh, the more acidic it is, which means the higher pH it will have. Okay, so to reiterate, the pH, that's our acidity. And then in the brackets here, the capital H plus there, that's our hydrogen ion concentration. And then one note I want to make, since this just says log, it's just a common logarithm, remember that's just base 10. So when you go to start solving these, remember that's base 10 on the logarithm there. Okay, so our one and only example here, example one, vinegar has a pH of 3. I don't know, I'm no chemist, but I guess in my mind I always think of vinegar as being like acidic. So uh, you should be able to think of the question I'm probably going to ask you. If you know the pH is 3, the next natural question would be, okay, so uh, what's the hydrogen ion concentration? So that's actually what this example is getting at. What is the hydrogen ion concentration? So we know pH is 3, so this is asking for that H plus part. That's really what we're solving for here. So I'll plug in 3 for the pH, and then we'll go ahead and try to solve for the hydrogen ion concentration. So let's go ahead and do that. Plug in the 3 for the pH, and I have negative log, and the hydrogen ion concentration is what we're solving for. Okay, so this first step is really important in terms of being able to move forward. Let's take care of this negative coefficient here, and then we can, then we can handle the logarithm. So, I mean, just divide both sides by negative 1 and make the 3 negative on the other side, and we should be good. So that's an important first step. It seems easy, but I've seen a lot of people forget it. So we've got negative 3 equals the log of this capital H plus. Okay, so from here, we're a little bit stuck. And when you get stuck in a place like this, um, right now it's in log form. Let's take it to exponential form. So you know it's base 10 here. It's understood that that's base 10. So we have 10, I'm going to draw the, the C pattern here, 10 to the negative 3 equals this H plus piece. So that's 10 to the negative 3 equals our H plus. Okay, so now technically we've solved for it. So H plus, which equals 10 to the negative 3, so that's 0 0.001. And the units here are actually kind of um, they're kind of important. They're really specific. That's moles per liter. So 10 to the negative 3, you can actually leave it like that as long as you label it moles per liter. All right, that's our one example for chemical acidity. Uh, the pH, it's a function of the hydrogen ion concentration. And that is it for these notes. I'll see you in class.